Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number 13, Tapping. As an operator of the Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine, you will be required to mount and make the necessary machine adjustments for tapping. The most common tapping attachment used with the Brown and Sharp Screw Machine is an adjustable non-releasing tap holder and tap. When using this type of tapping tool holder, the work spindle must reverse direction and slow down before the tap enters the part. When the tap has cut the required length of thread into the part, the spindle reverses directions and speeds up again. The change in spindle direction causes the tap to unscrew from the workpiece. When tapping right hand threads, the work spindle rotates backward during normal machining operations. This requires that left hand tools be used when tapping right hand threads. For left hand threads, the spindle direction is forward and right hand tools are used. The setup begins by selecting the proper tap holder, tap, and bushing. Mount the tap into the bushing with the flat aligned under the set screw. Turn the set screw down until it is below the surface of the bushing. Mount the assembly into the tap holder and align the hole in the bushing with the set screw in the holder. Turn down the set screw until it threads into the hole in the bushing. The tap holder will allow the tap to pull itself forward as it cuts threads. A spring inside the tool holder pulls the tap back away from the part once it unthreads. Mount the tap holder into the turret and snug down the clamp bolt. Raise the feed out trip dog to disengage the stock feeding. Run the machine to the start of the tapping lobe on the lead cam. In this position, set the trip dog to reverse the spindle direction and slow the spindle speed. Use the hand wheel to advance the turret until the cam roller is at the high point of the tapping lobe of the lead cam. Set the trip dog to cause the spindle to resume its original speed and direction. With the turret at high point of the threading lobe, you can adjust the tap for the approximate length of thread to cut. Measure from the cutoff to the end of the tap. Move the tap holder in the turret until you can measure a distance that will be one quarter of an inch short of the required thread length. This additional distance will provide clearance for the tap to pull out slightly from the holder and ensure that the tap will not bottom out in the hole. Start the machine and run it through a cycle. There should be no stock fed out at this time. Check to be sure that the spindle changes speed and reverses in the proper sequence. Stop the machine and lower the feed out trip dog. Restart the machine and cycle the turret until it indexes to the start of the threading lobe on the lead cam. Stop the machine. Loosen the two centering screws. Use the turret hand lever to advance the tap and center the tap in the hole. Tighten the tap holder centering screws while maintaining pressure with the turret hand lever. A properly centered tap will not move up, down, or sideways when entering the workpiece. Start the machine and tap a sample part.
Check the part using a go, no go gauge. You may have to move the tap holder in or out of the turret to obtain the proper thread length. Run the machine under power and check the finished part. As with all attachments, final adjustments may be required at this time. This completes your television training tape on tapping. You may watch this tape as many times as you need to understand the material. When you have finished, return to the operator booklet for your next step in the training program.